Engineers have only four months to finish this entire foundation before the ground freezes solid and the project fails. This is a $50 billion bunker built to survive anything. And the clock is already ticking. But to build this high, they first have to go the HIS deep. Straight down, through solid bedrock. Standard drills won't work. We have to blast our way down. We're using military-grade dynamite, and we get one shot. That's right. We're using hundreds of precision charges to literally blow a hole in the planet. Each charge has to be perfect. One mistake could cause a collapse that would bury the site for years. Three, two, one. Look at that. We just shattered a million tons of solid granite. Initial scans are positive. The fractures are clean. Now the real work begins. Get the drills ready to go. With the rock broken, it's time to bring in the monster truck of all drills to create the anchor piles. These aren't just holes. They're anchors that will lock the $50 billion bunker directly to the planet's core. We're building a skeleton of pure steel. This web of rebar will give the concrete its unbreakable strength. You can't just buy this much concrete. We ordered 1,000 trucks to pour nonstop for 72 hours. This is a concrete tsunami. We're pouring a continuous river of concrete that will not stop for three whole days. The foundation is now a chemical reactor, generating thousands of degrees of heat. If we don't cool it, it'll crack itself apart. We built our own rain cloud. This custom misting system works 24-7 to gently cool the concrete down. The curing is done. Now for the moment of truth. We test its strength. This has to be stronger than steel. Can it survive? We are putting this concrete under 10,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. It didn't just pass, it obliterated the test. This foundation is officially one of the strongest things on Earth. You can't build a perfect structure on a bumpy floor. So we brought in these laser-guided robots to polish the whole thing. It's here, the first of over 500 wall segments. The real building starts now. Lifting a piece this heavy is an art form. One wrong move and this 200-ton wall becomes a wrecking ball. All clear. Begin the lift. Slow and steady. Wind speed is nominal. Watch your swing. It's like threading a giant needle from 300 feet away. They have less than an inch of room for error. And it's in. A perfect fit. The first piece of our underground fortress is officially locked in place. Every wall is welded directly to the foundation's steel skeleton. One down, 499 to go. We are working around the clock, placing a new wall every two hours. Being underground means you're under the ocean. This waterproof skin will keep groundwater out for a thousand years. Now we go horizontal. Each floor slab locks the walls together, adding incredible structural integrity to the entire cube. We are bolting this bunker together with steel bolts so strong you could hang a battleship from just one of them. We're not building up, we're building down. Level by level, we're creating a skyscraper in reverse. It's not just about strength, it's about flexibility. These seismic gaps will let the bunker flex during an earthquake instead of shattering. And now for the secret weapon. These pits will hold the shock absorbers for the entire $50 billion complex. This is a seismic damper. It's the same tech used to protect skyscrapers, but a hundred times bigger. This is the most complex lift of the project. It's not just heavy, it's delicate. All 300 tons have to be perfectly balanced. This is one of 200 dampers that will hold the entire bunker. It's a building floating on a set of giant metal legs. With all this technology, sometimes the old ways are best. Every single wall has to be perfectly plumb, no exceptions. We are x-raying every inch of concrete to make sure it's perfect. There can be no hidden flaws in our $50 billion shield. Before we close the box, we install the arteries. This will carry all our power, water, and air. It's the bunker's circulatory system. 
To speed thing up, we're using robot welders. They work 24 seven and their welds are 10 times stronger than a human's. The bunker is built like a fortress within a fortress. This central core is designed to stand even if the outer levels collapse. We have to make sure it's airtight. We're overpressurizing this section to see if it can hold. Even a pinhole leak is a failure. We hunt down every single leak, no matter how small. In the world this bunker is built for, a single airborne particle could be deadly. This is it, the final piece of the main structure. We are about to seal the box and disappear from the world. The sarcophagus is sealed. From this moment on, everything happens underground, under artificial light. We built it, now we have to hide it. Hundreds of trucks are burying the bunker under a mountain of earth. We are compacting this new mountain to make it solid. This will be the first layer of shielding from the Outsif world. With the main structure buried, we dig our way out. This is the mole. It will dig our escape tunnels. This isn't just a drill. It's a subterranean starship, a 2,000 ton tunnel boring machine that grinds solid rock into dust. Three, point, two, one, contact. The mole is eating its way through the mountain at a rate of 100 feet per day. The TBM is a factory on the move. As it digs, it removes the debris and installs the concrete tunnel lining behind it. It digs and builds at the same time. This machine is creating a reinforced concrete tunnel that will last for centuries. This tunnel will stretch for five miles, creating a secret escape route that surfaces in a location nobody would ever suspect. This is the heart of the bunker, the most protected room in the entire facility. How do you power a secret city? You buy your own miniature nuclear reactor. Expensive. This is a generation fake 4 fission reactor. It's designed to be fail-safe and can power this entire facility. To keep our star from going supernova, we built our own underground lake to act as a giant cooling system. The air you breathe is the first line of defense. This system can filter out everything from radioactive fallout to weaponized viruses. We are turning ancient groundwater into something purer than anything you can get on the surface. This is the bunker's water factory. Reactor is critical. We are generating our own power. The bunker is alive. The shell is built, the heart is beating, but a fortress is useless without a brain. Now, we make it smart. This is the brain. We are installing a server farm more powerful than what runs Wall Street, and it's completely cut off from the outside internet. This is the nerve center. From here, we will see the world, but the world will not see us. We are installing a holographic globe. It will give us a real-time 3D view of everything happening on the planet. I can't believe it's finally here. The biggest blast door ever built. It weighs over 500 tons. This is the heaviest and most dangerous lift of the entire project. They are moving a 500 ton pendulum. If this thing starts to swing, nothing on earth can stop it. Look at this. It's a perfect fit. They are landing this monster with less than a millimeter of tolerance. The door doesn't just close, it becomes part of the mountain. These pistons fuse it to the surrounding bedrock. This is the sound of safety. It takes two full minutes for the door to close. And if you're going to survive the end of the world, you need a doctor. So we built a hospital more advanced than any on the surface. Our medical bay is run by an AI surgeon. It can perform any operation 24-7 with no chance of human error. How do you feed 10,000 people? You build a farm with no sunlight. This is our underground food factory. We have the seeds for every important plant species on Earth. We can grow anything we need forever. Almost there. Systems are green, life support is stable, the structure is sound. We are running non-stop drills to make sure every single person knows what to do in an emergency. Practice makes perfect. We're ready. The main facility is on full auto, running on its own. 
It's time to see if the $50 billion was worth it. To prove our bunker works, we are going to blow it up with one of the most powerful bombs ever made. All personnel are accounted for. Main facility is sealed and unmanned. Final test sequence initiated. T minus 60 seconds. Oh my gosh. Look at the shockwave. This is the ultimate test of strength. You can see the dampers working. The entire bunker is floating, riding out an earthquake that would flatten a city. This is the live feed. The lights are flickering, but it's holding. The structure is holding. Come on, come on, give me the report. It worked. It actually worked. Zero damage. This bunker can literally survive the end of the world. <laughs> The surface is gone, but the future is secure. Project Aegis is officially operational. Now for the final step, making it disappear. We are completely restoring the landscape to hide our $50 billion secret. Would you believe a secret city is hiding under this forest? We have made it completely invisible to the naked eye. There are a dozen secret entrances and exits like this one, scattered over 100 square miles. Impossible to find unless you know where to look. The construction is finished. The tests are complete. Now, we wait. And we watch. The project is done. My job is just beginning. Let's hope the day we need this never comes. We are laying over 200 miles of pipes. It's a plumbing job for a whole city. And it all has to be perfect. These are the bunker's lungs. Massive shafts that bring air down to the filtration systems, big enough to drive a truck through. There are more miles of wiring in this facility than there are roads in the entire state of California. The survivors can't just work, they have to eat. We're building a restaurant that can serve 10,000 people three meals a day. We can't have a fire in a sealed box. This system sucks all the oxygen out of a room to kill a fire instantly. If the reactor fails, we have backups for our backups. We can generate our own electricity from the water flowing beneath us. Even our construction equipment lives down here. We have a full garage to maintain every machine we need for future expansions. Nothing is wasted. This recycling plant turns 100% of the bunker's waste into usable resources. We are deep into this build and the pressure is on. Every day, we get closer to finishing the most insane project ever attempted. These aren't just hospital beds. They are medical stasis pods that can slow down a patient's metabolism to treat critical injuries. We use the Earth's own heat to help regulate the bunker's temperature, saving massive amounts of energy. When you have this much machinery running, it gets loud. We are installing soundproof panels in every room so you can get a good night's sleep. We are not just preserving lives, we are preserving knowledge. This law of human history this is the central nervous system. Every sensor, every camera, every life support system is monitored from here, every millisecond. Even in a bunker, you need traffic control. We have robots painting the way so nobody gets lost in our underground city. To stay sane, you have to stay active. We built a full-size gym to make sure everyone stays healthy bod and mind. Compartmentalization is key. If one section is breached, we can seal it off from the rest of the facility instantly. We're even farming our own fish. This aquaculture system provides a sustainable source of protein, completely underground. We're in the final stretch. It's a race against time to check every one of the million systems before the final test. We can stay connected to any surviving satellite networks, but our antennas are camouflaged. We have our own fleet of drones. We can send them out through hidden launch tubes to see what's happening on the surface without ever opening the main door. Our final backup is a gravity battery. It's simple, reliable, and uses the power of the Earth itself to keep the lights on. We did it. What they said was impossible, we did it. Get some rest, you've earned it. The AI takes over from here. Aegis AI Online. All systems are under my control. Standing by for your command, Amelia. The bunk... There is a manual override. 
One button that seals the facility from the inside, permanently. The last bolt. After years of work, hundreds of thousands of workers, and billions of dollars, the job is finally done. My team's work is done. They can return to the world. My work is just beginning. The builders are gone. The bunker is sealed. And now, it waits. Okay, Aegis. Let's see what you've got. Run the projections. More than a building. More than a machine. It's a promise. A promise that no matter what happens, 